If this James Charles situation is what it's like to have big YouTubers as friends, then count me out. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is take a look at the YouTube community, all the drama that's going on, and try to take this mess and turn it into a message. Because what good is watching all this stuff go down if we're not trying to see how we can apply it to better our own lives? So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. All right, and what inspired this video is I'm sitting here and Channels are pumping out like every single time, and it's on Twitter too, every single time somebody unfollows James or aligns themselves with Tati or whatever it is, I'm sitting here and I'm just like, what the heck? Like Jeffree Star and things like that. Like, I am just absolutely blown away. And I want you guys to think about this. Think about this in your life, in your regular life. Like, so I... I know that I tend to forgive easier than most, not even most, but like, let's put it this way. If you come from an addiction recovery background, you probably forgive easier than most as well. Those of you who are just now meeting me, hi, I'm Chris, I'm an alcoholic and drug addict. I got sober June 23rd, 2012, so I'm coming up on seven years sober next month. And you guys, I used to be, I used to be such an awful human being. All right, I became addicted to alcohol from the first time I drank when I was about 18 years old. I got sober on my 27th birthday. So there was a good almost decade, all right? A decade of me just running amok, causing chaos wherever I went. Throughout my addiction, I, I screwed over many fellow employees as well as my bosses, which is one of the reasons why I got fired dozens of times in my active addiction. I screwed over women I dated, I screwed over um, uh, friends, my family members, all sorts of things. I was not a great person. Any of you who are in recovery, you know what I mean. Any of you who might know somebody in active addiction or used to be in active addiction, you know what I'm talking about too, all right? At the end of my addiction, Friends wouldn't talk to me, family wouldn't talk to me. I hadn't seen my son in four months, all right? I was not a great human being, okay? And in my recovery, when I got sober, it took a long time to get people's forgiveness. Um, and some people still haven't forgiven me from my past. Like, that is just something that I have to live with. But something I want to touch on real quick is, like, this whole James Charles thing, it's going to take time. It's going to take time time like for anybody to forgive him like immediately like that's just not human nature but like the reality is it's like like so many of us we sit here and we act like we have just been these amazing human beings our whole life and that's one of the issues with the internet like it is so easy to hop on twitter or hop on you know like uh, uh youtube comments and you are completely anonymous nobody knows who the hell you are, the shady things you've done in your past, right? Nobody knows those things. So it's so easy for people to take a moral high ground online, all right? That's something that's never going to stop. But like I said, like when, when I see somebody like Jeffree Star completely abandoning James Charles, it absolutely blows my brain up inside of my skull, all right? James Charles is 19 years old, okay? 19 years old. You know what You know what Jeffree Star was doing when he was younger? He was doing this. Shut up, you f***ing nigga, bitch. No. Hey, you don't have to harass me. Uh, you stupid ape, I'm gonna spray you. Will you beat the f*** for me? You're the f***ing All right, like... Like what, what, what? Like Jeffree Star expects everybody to forgive him too? And listen, I am not condoning James Charles' behavior here, but he's 19 years old. I think the most serious, the ser most serious issue with James Charles is him lusting after straight guys, which is also something that explodes my brain because this is something that's been known for a long time, but the second Tati Westbrook brings it up, now everybody has an issue with it. But going back to Jeffree Star, have any of you met Jeffree Star's boyfriend, Nate? Does anybody know who that is? Nate was a straight guy, okay? I hate to compare the two because no, I don't think Jeffree Star like, you know, uh, uh, um, like imposed his, you know, position of power on Nate or like hassled him or forced him into anything. But hell, 
I might be absolutely wrong about that as well because Nate was just this dude coming from this little town, you know what I mean? So like when I see when I see Jeffree Star just completely removing himself from the James Charles situation like, "Oh, look at look at this terrible human being." I'm like, "What? What? Like how old is Jeffree Star now? Like 30 something? Maybe like what were you? What were you, what were you doing when you were 19?" You know what I mean? But then you have people like like even Shane Dawson, you know, um, coming out like, Shane Dawson is no stranger to controversy either, but he's grown and he's learned from these things. Like we're talking about blackface, we're talking about how clips from his podcast are being brought up like every other month about jokes about like pedophilia and that thing that he, you know, supposedly did with his cat, right? Like these are things being brought up from their past. And like, these are people, there's so many people who are supposed to be mentors to James Charles. Like, could you imagine? Okay, so I come from a 12-step recovery background. Could you imagine for one second some newcomer getting sober, right? Their life is a mess. They are killing themselves with alcohol and drugs. They come into the program. I start sponsoring with them. Sponsoring is like a form of mentoring. You share your experience to help this person overcome their addiction, walk through the steps, go through the book, whether it's, um, you know, uh, 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 the AA big book or the NA basic text or whatever it is. And imagine, imagine sponsoring somebody and they screwed up and then you just publicly said in a meeting like, oh, you know what, I'm not, I'm not with this person anymore. They they screwed up. Like your whole job as a mentor is to be there for somebody when they screw up. You know what? And that is why I love my damn first sponsor. When I got my first sponsor, one of the first things he told me, one of the first things he told me is like, Chris, you're gonna screw up. You're gonna screw up a lot, but learn from it and move forward. So like, I hate to play de devil's advocate during this whole situation because I know there's a massive hate train against James Charles, but imagine for a second how lonely that must feel, right? His, every single one of his mentors just dropped him like a bad habit. They dropped James Charles as hard as the N-bombs that Jeffree Star was dropping back in the day. So I just made a video, you know, yesterday about Tana Mojo being tied up in this whole situation. And hopefully, hopefully, even if it's not in front of the scenes where we can see it, like hopefully Tana is still there for James because that would blow my mind as well. Because if you look at Tana's history, the N-bombs that she was dropping, running a convention called TanaCon, where it screwed over thousands upon thousands upon thousands upon thousands of people. And let's not forget the fact that Tana filmed a dead body as well as, you know, all this other stuff. So. If, if, I don't, I, I just don't get it. And everybody is just watching this thing go down and they're not even questioning it. They're not even questioning these, these people who are all unfollowing James Charles and canceling him. Like I saw like Demi Lovato unfollow James Charles. Like Demi Lovato has had an entire history of insane stuff happen too. And she's in recovery as well. Oh, making this video just, it hurts my soul. It hurts my soul. Maybe, okay, let's let's make up a fictional scenario real quick. Maybe these people are just doing this publicly for their brand or for their image and then, and then behind the scenes, they're telling James Charles that it's gonna be okay. But if not, it is the most hypocritical ridiculousness I have ever seen. And like I said in the intro of this video, like. If this is what the YouTube community is like, if this is what it's like to have mentors in the community who will drop you the second a controversy comes around, like, nah, nah, man. And so many, so many kids out there, so many kids out there watching all this stuff go down want to be YouTubers. And they're watching, they're watching this kid, James, just get completely abandoned. Like, I get it. I totally get it. Like Tati Westbrook, like she needs to be done with James Charles. Like I, I talked about this in a previous video. Sometimes you need to cut somebody off just for your own well-being and mental health. But in in the YouTube community, there's so many like taking sides and all these other things and everybody else abandoning this person. Like, I don't know. If I was in Jeffree Star's shoes, knowing the screwed up history I had, I'd be like, listen, listen, Tati, I know. I know that you have to separate yourself from James Charles right now. I understand that he hurts you, but this kid needs help, all right? And it's only it's only gonna make things worse 
if we all abandon him right now. So I'm gonna try to help him through this situation. You know what I mean? Like, what's the alternative? What's the alternative for these other YouTubers? Y'all just gonna like ditch the dude and let him become worse? You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I don't know. Like, because something that, something that I guarantee, I guarantee for a fact is going on in James Charles' heads because this goes on in anybody's head who's been canceled. Logan Paul even talked about this in his interview with Casey Neistat. When you're painted as the villain and nobody is willing to forgive you, like, you start to think, maybe I should just become that villain that people think I am. You know what I mean? Hell, it's worked for other people. So, I don't know. It just bums me out. People need to be there for James Charles. All of us have screwed up in the past, especially anybody who's around my age or even older. Like, this whole thing of just canceling somebody like, like you've never done anything anything in your past like we've all screwed up like i said there's no like james charles didn't murder anybody like chill out anyways i'm done i'm done with this video let me know your thoughts on this subject down in the comments below please let me know down in the comments below if you have been a flawless human being since you came out of the womb that would help me understand this situation a lot all right but if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you're new make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because i make a ton of videos and a huge huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on patreon you are all amazing and if you'd like to get your name on the credits get access to our monthly q a some other perks and benefits click or tap on that patreon icon right there all right thanks again so so much for watching i'll see you next time